this is where the magic happens in this building right here? Right, all brewing is done in here. Nice. Sweet. Are we rolling? We're rolling, yeah. Um, so this building was the original Drake's brewery, started in 1989. Yeah. Um, the original brew house was on this side. Actually, they only had, the original founder only had one half of this building. Okay. And uh, he brewed here for about 10 years, draft only. Okay. And uh, then sold it, sold it to a uh, family who doubled the size of it to 6,000 <laughs> square feet to the 3,000 square feet. Nice. And they ran it for about 10 years. My partner, Roy Kikorian, and I bought it uh, back in 2008. So this brewery is very similar to how it's always looked. Nice. As a matter of fact, we haven't even changed the paint since 1989. You haven't changed it since 1989. The paint's the same as what it was built. Nice. So this brewery was the original brewery. We were brewing about 20,000 barrels a year out of wow. this brewery. They had bigger tanks and all that. We ran out of days of the week, hours of the day, so we had to build a bigger brewery. So that went in about 2016 or so. So we put in a 60 barrel brewery. Wow. As capacity required. This actually, when we first bought the brewery, this was the warehouse. So it was a big cold box here. Eventually we got more space and we put tanks here, and that's how we were able to get to 20,000 barrels out of that wow. brewery. This is filled with tanks. We also had bottling right over here. Mm -hmm. But as we ran out of space, I we were able to get more in the building. I thought, well, we'll just put the brew house over there. But that didn't make much sense when you had all your grain milling in one place and all your spent grain in place. So we just put the brew houses right together. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. If you want, we can go upstairs. That'd be awesome. Looks like we're going to make some uh, some seltzer here. All right. <laughs> Do you know what's being made in each of these? I don't know what's being made right now. There's nothing here. in this one. I'm curious about all the dextrose, but. Yeah. So this is before the fermentation process. They're right. getting the flavor from the hops into the, well, the water. Well, this is all, all grain. This is where grain is, is the, the malted barley is put into hot water or releases all the sugars yeah. that, are, that have been malted into it. Nice. So through the malting process. Very cool. So the water tons here, it's empty right now. Nothing's going on here. So it looks like we've got a previous brew. We chased brews through the system. Yeah. And it looks like uh, they're just they're just knocking that one out. Could be over here in the whirlpool. As you can see, I'll have to, I'd have to ask Hi. Hey Asher, what are you brewing today? I'm brewing and Cap and Robotoma. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder I was trying to figure that out. Thank yep. you. Yep. So this is a hard working uh, yeah. brew house, 60 totally. barrels. Uh, nice. Uh, you keep it going like they're through oh sorry, sorry Asher. We're brewing three different three different beers today. Usually we we chase the same brew through, mm -hmm. but we're obviously making today six, three 60 barrel batches. Wow. Rather than say 
you know, 120 barrels or 180 yeah. kind of thing. So nice. I never know quite what they're up to. Yeah. But, <laughs> but they know what they're doing. They right. do it well. <laughs> right. But cool. they're pretty good at making beer. Thank right. you for showing us this upper deck. I want to take a quick peek real, over here real quick. This is fun. Excuse me, buddy. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, sorry. All right. Oh, nice. So that's, that's, the, that's the Whirlpool. Okay. So that's right before it goes into the heat exchanger and then heads off and travels a long way down to our cellar. Oh, okay, right on. And that's where they barrel it? Right. Well, that's where it's fermented. Oh, cool. Right on. Great. Sounds like so we made it. So we have a mash tun, lauder tun, work receiver, brew kettle. This is hot and cold liquor. Mm -hmm. You can tell this one's the cold liquor because it's cold. And that's oh, yeah. where we keep hot water. Nice. So we can go down this way. Okay, cool. Guys, how you doing? I'm going right now. Seems like you got a great team here. Yeah, it's really, really good. Very happy. A little barrel aging over this way. This is our fermentation cellar. Oh, wow. These are big we, tanks. We start at the back. Yeah. And if you add more tanks, we'll keep coming this direction here. The, uh, we've got six 240 barrel fermenters, uh, a bunch of 60 barrels, which we have over in the other space, and some 120 barrel fermenters. Watch your step here. We just uh, put an order to buy more tanks. We're adding, I think, three 120s and two 60s that'll go in this yeah. location here. What does 120 refer to? What, what 120 what? barrels. OK. And Perfect. these are each 120 tanks? Right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. You can see this 245 means it's number two of the uh, 100 or 240 barrel tanks. OK. Or actually, sorry, I got it wrong. It's number five of the 240 barrel tanks. Okay. Careful, it's slippery here. Big light. Uh, we have a centrifuge over that way for filtering. And cool. this is uh, Wow. This is the fermentation cellar. This is awesome. I've never seen them like the back end of a so, brewery like this. This is cool. So like I said, when we when we knock out of that brew house, mm -hmm. the wort has to travel all the way from there to here mm -hmm. before it's put into a tank for fermentation. So it's a long trip. Yeah. Uh, but that's you know the faint, the space that we were able to obtain. Uh, we had to deal with what. You could find. Sure. So you pump it? Moving. Yes. Okay. It's pumped over. There's, I should have pointed out, but there's a pipe bridge up above. Okay. Where okay. They used to, that, the old brew house used to be a, uh, a energy turbine. When this, this used to be a uh, wow. old Dodge truck factory. Okay. okay. So nice. they had their own powerhouse. Uh huh. So brewery went in the old powerhouse and then we're in some of the old production space for the for the factory so okay. dodge trucks used to be made here right exactly <laughs> and now it's which, beer <laughs> which is interesting because our place in oakland drake's dealership used to be a dodge ah, i see some similarities <laughs> here nice <laughs> So Dodge doesn't really have any stain power, but beer does. Right, yeah. exactly. We're, we're still here. Yeah. 
Now, like I said, we weren't able to get all the space contiguous. So we actually have about 30,000 square feet over here, but we can't reach it by going inside of a building. We have, uh -huh. we have a tenant in between us. I don't know if he'll be able to climb these, this ladder, but the way it is. You got this, Val? Hope so. Famous hey guys, last words. <clears throat> this ladder won't break. No, I don't <laughs> think this ladder will break. Ladder at my house broke oh, no. over the weekend. I fell and I ended up hanging from the rafters. Yeah. <laughs> you hand that to me and I'll, you can climb up the ladder? Okay. Nice. Now, where are you bottling? What's that? Where are you bottling? Right here. I'm about oh, to okay. Because I was like, I haven't seen a bot <laughs> bottling facility yet. There well, we go. They're shut down for the day. We, uh, Wow. I think we did 19. Look at you, lover. <laughs> this is awesome. So you can see our wow. IPA cans here. These, this means these are kegs, one-way kegs that are going to Europe or Asia. Wow. Oh, wow. So you export this? We do. That's we do. awesome. Not a lot, but some apocalypse uh, hazy cans over there. Uh, mm -hmm. How many uh, American craft breweries actually export to other countries? fair amount do. I wouldn't okay. have an idea how many. This is our newest piece of equipment. This is uh, the canning line, new canning line. Mm -hmm. And it is shiny and new. Right, Beautiful. yeah, this has just been in solvent since wow. this June or July. Very cool. We put in this beautiful kegging line yeah. A few months before COVID. So then it got very little use for a long time because yeah. you know all our accounts were closed. Mm -hmm. But we love this this machine. That's a cool machine. Well now Cal's back in person, so you should be selling kegs again. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so that's the filler and capper. And we have the box shop over here. I guess we were doing apocalypse green today, it looks like. So the beers that have, uh, that are decorated with labels go that way down into the packaging line and they're put into, into their wraps and then into the case boxes. If it's something like Apocalypse that has a label, then it travels along this way and then re-enters re the line, and then it's put on these flats that mm -hmm. goes out that way. So we're really happy with this new canning line. It's made a big difference. Most all our newest beers are canned. Uh, Dean Organizer is still in bottles. So is our IPA, though we do do cans of IPA. And 1500s in bottles, but it's actually going to be in cans as well next, next June. I think. This is the bottling line. Hey, Bree. How are you? Good. Good. How are you guys? Hi. Hi. How'd it go today? Today was really good, actually. Yeah, uh, I got nice. lost today. Oh, great. Yeah. Nice. Good. How so are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Doing well. What's your name? Hop Brianna. Brianna. I'm Robert. This is nice Valerie. Nice to meet you. Hi. 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 No, it's OK. It's all good. Hi, That's all right. Nice to meet you guys. Me too. What are you guys up to today? We're doing a, a tour with, uh, with John here. He's giving, oh, nice. showing us the facilities. So this is Bree's machine. She oh, runs yeah. this, this is my area. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> Basically, um, so this is where the drop packers, where all our bottles come in to be yeah. dropped right here. I deal with all the, the fun parts. Make sure all the crowns and labels all of that are still intact. Make sure that I've been filled all bills. Make sure that I actually make contact with the box. But sometimes it doesn't always happen. But <laughs> lately it's gone a lot better. We've nice. been really good about that. And now, yeah, this is goes through here. It's loose. Comes off this side, and these guys over here will back. Right. Nice. Okay. Very cool. So it's a long process, starting from where the bulk glass comes yeah. out. Yeah. It goes all sure. the way around to the labeler, all the way to the filler, all the way back around to here. Wow. Meanwhile, the box shop is making 
six pack carriers is directing the carriers and making the, the case boxes and they all kind of come together right where Bree was talking. It's like three different things happening at once. Very so cool. It's, it's actually really fun to watch. So this, I bet. this uh, device has 809 cases. Is that like what has been cased today? I would guess so. That's probably what it was. Nice. That's, it sounds like some good work. That's right. a lot of bottles. 16,000 right. bottles of beer. Right. That's, wow. Math Take good. one down. Uh, oh. <laughs> and away we go. Yeah. Right. Thanks, Bree. Thank you, Bree. Nice to meet you. Thank uh, you. So one thing different than uh, bottles, bottles are great because they come bulk like this, mm -hmm. and then you put a label on them when they go through the labeler. Mm -hmm. If you have a poor beer that you have a printed can, mm -hmm. every can has to be different. So our inventory just of empties goes up exponentially every, every new okay. can that you have yeah. printed. So are these like empty cans? Yeah, these here? are all empty. Okay. Nice. And there's a bunch more empties over here. We've got bunches more all over the place. Yeah. This is our... Uh, oh, wow. Cold box. That was cool. Woo! <laughs> the light should come I don't need on. to go to cryotherapy today. <laughs> <laughs> no. My knees feel better already. <laughs> yeah. This wow. is the draft side. Wow. All right. I'm just going to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool. Wow. So this is ready, bottled beer, ready to ship. Yep. This nice. Wow. Going out as fast as we can get it. Out. Are we in like a 32 degree room right now? Oh, it's probably 40, I guess. Okay. It's cool. Forklift lanes have gotten pretty narrow with the addition of this new equipment. Yeah. It gets pretty crazy in here mm -hmm. as far as forklifts picking up. Oh, I bet. Yeah, they got to drop the empty bottles and cans. You've got to be picking up the, the cases or the pallets of full. Uh huh. A lot cases. of safety procedures go around the cooler, that. Huh? They got to come out of the cooler. They got to get on a truck. Yeah. So it's a, a real ballet sometimes. No kidding. So we've got a bunch more storage down the way, and, uh -huh. and uh, that's where Travis was down in one of our barrel aging. Areas. Very cool. We got about 10,000 square feet of barrel aging. Wow. Down that way. Nice. And that's mostly it. That's Very cool. Brewery. Wow. Nicely done. <laughs> you hold that? He's just nervous because I fell off a ladder. Oh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was happy I'd made 63 years without never <laughs> falling off a ladder till yesterday, uh, two days yeah, ago. I've fallen off two roofs. Oh, oh man. One year. That's something One I'm with trying. Two stories. Oh, Ooh, ouch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Luckily, I mostly landed in our pool. Wow. <laughs> I had to jump at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Can I make the pool? This is why I don't, <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't do my Christmas like lights every year. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. I'd have been thinking the same thing. I think I can do the pool. <laughs> oh, you can see our tanks. So they're I'm just noticing they need a good cleaning, so I don't know if I want those on film. Uh, <laughs> No, we'll Pop the 240 barrel tanks uh, coming out of the roof up there. Okay. Oh, so those tanks that we saw on the inside, they, they go beyond the ceiling. You can see it right up. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. those are big. So these two big tanks over here were the, was the diesel fuel that ran the turbines in the old... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Old uh, Dodge factory. Yeah. 
That's 21st Amendment, right? Oh, it is. Oh, right, right on. So we're next door neighbors. Cool. Do you ever run back and forth and borrow a cup of oh, hops? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we see those guys over here for lunch, and we go over there for lunch. Nice. Well, this has been a lot of fun, John. Thank you yeah. for the tour and oh, thanks for hosting us today, man. We really appreciate it. So, so appreciative. Yeah. So appreciative. This is maybe our, this is <laughs> by far our best video. Oh, yeah. Cool. Will be. <laughs> Let's hope it edited. Bridge I was talking about. Right, right. Oh, cool. So the, That's where the beer travels. Right. And right you just through pump there. it through here. It actually there. goes through Dollar Tree on its way to us. <laughs> <laughs> and there with a you know, solo couple that waiting right. for a leak. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Come on, break. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. We added this, uh, this more of a beer garden uh, during the pandemic. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, we've always wanted to expand in this space, but never got around to it till you know, we need some more outdoor space. <laughs> right? <So. laughs> yeah. That worked out nice. Yeah. I named it Drake's Industrial Park. Sweet. <laughs> Good name. Both being followed around. She's busy doing interviews all day. This is great. I do have a regular day job. You don't really make beer, do you? The camera loves you. Don't lie. <laughs> So that's the barrel age. This is Travis's building, basically. Oh, cool! Oh, right on. This is Travis oh. World. Right. Nice. So, Very cool. Uh, make some great stuff out of it. Awesome. Good. I think we're good. Yeah. We